Hey guys, Will here with Cray Studio, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a really cool shark attention grabber inside of Cray Studio Pro. All right, so let's go ahead and play back what you're gonna be creating. All right, so let's go ahead and start a new project so we can start from scratch. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is import in a background. Now, I've already gone into Pexels and I've downloaded a video background, and I'm gonna go ahead and drag that into my canvas here. All right, so if I play this back, you'll see it's got some fish swimming around a coral reef and it's setting the stage and the foundation for what we're gonna build upon that, right? So let's go ahead and right, right click that and rename it and let's just call that BG for background. All right, so next up, we need to import in our UI interface that's gonna sit on top of our video background. So I'm gonna go over here to our studio section and I'm gonna scroll down to scroll stoppers and go under interfaces and you'll see that here is this attention grabbing headline. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and if you haven't downloaded that, there's little download icons that look like this. Just go ahead and click that first, and then once it's done, drag that onto your canvas. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and select my interface here, and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom back out on my timeline here so you can see what's going on. And I'm gonna trim these guys down to, uh, let's go maybe six and a half, maybe seven seconds or so. Um, we can adjust it later as we need. Let's go back and select our interface again, and let's scale this guy down. So there's four corners on this interface box. So if you hover your mouse over, left click and hold and drag towards the center of the canvas, it will scale down your attention grabbing headline box, right? So now I can then just release that and then click and move it to whatever position I choose. I'm gonna go ahead and center it up. So if you center it, you'll see that the center line appears for me. So that's a really awesome feature in Create Studio Pro. And then you can make it a little bigger if you need to, um, but that looks pretty good. All right, so next up, I'm gonna swap out this uh, template picture for a picture that I wanna use for this project, right? So if I select my interface here in the timeline, you'll see in the settings, I can change the text here if I need to for text one and text two, as well if I click on text one or text two, I get the properties for that text so I can manipulate the fonts, the colors, alignment, and all that good stuff, all right? So now here's where I can change the image. So I can come in here and hit replace, and then it opens up my media files, and you can choose where you want to download. I've already got a dolphin downloaded from Pexels, but you could go to Pixabay, Unsplash, and find images and videos that you want that fit your needs. So I'm going to select my dolphin here, and then he's already replaced. So looking pretty good. And then of course you can change the panel color if you choose as well. I'm going to go ahead and leave those as is for now. All right, next up, we need to bring in some more life to this, right? So I'm going to go back to my studio and under scroll stoppers again, I'm going to search up, uh, let's type in fish. And then you'll see I get a whole bunch of different options here. And I'm gonna choose these fishes right here. And if you haven't downloaded again, make sure you click on the little download icon underneath this box and then drag it onto your canvas. All right, so we're gonna resize these fish. Um, actually, I'm gonna resize all my clips here to the length of those this fish video right here. And let's rename this video and let's just call this fish, right? Just so we know. So this is our interface, it's already kind of named for us. We've got our background, fish. And then I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit so you can kind of see that the four corners of this fish box here. And I'm gonna drag these down a little bit so it fits into the box enough so I can resize it there. All right, so I'm essentially gonna resize these fish so that they are the size of the frame of the dolphin, just the dolphin, right? So I can zoom in a little bit more if I need to here too so you can kind of see what's going on there. And then move this this way, there we go. And let's drag this guy right there. All right, so, so far so good. And then we can adjust this if we need, right about there. All right, so I like what's going on here. So if I play this back as is, you'll see there is the fish going around in the background there. And it's giving it more life. And, uh, and that's what we want, right? Okay, cool. Next up, let's go ahead and bring in the shark. All right, so I'm gonna go back up to studio and I'm gonna scroll down to scroll stoppers again. And instead of fish, let's just uh, search up the shark. All right, and there is the shark. And again, if you haven't downloaded it, make sure you press that download icon down in the bottom right corner and then drag him onto your timeline. All right, so we've got the shark and I might wanna re reposition him a little bit, right? So he's looking pretty good so far, but let's, let's play him back and see where he's at. All right, so what we can do is, I'm gonna go ahead and delay him. I don't want him to come in right away. I'm gonna have him come in right there. And then I'm also gonna bring him down a little bit. So if you select your shark, let's go ahead and rename him. And let's just call this the shark. Gotta stay organized. And let's go ahead and drag this down a little bit so his fin's more in the, in the canvas frame there. And so now, if I play this back, you'll see that he comes in. Well, actually, 
Gotta move him over. There we go. Alright, now let's go in here. And there we go. Alright, so, so far so good. All right, so next up, now we need to add the camera movement, right? So I don't want this to start off in the super wide shot. I want it to be starting off where the dolphin, it's, the camera is right on his face, right? So what I can do is I can come over here to our component section um, and click on our camera and drag that onto our canvas here, all right? So now with the camera in there, you'll see it created a camera track for us. Now I'm just gonna double click in this camera track and it created a camera that I can now manipulate. All right, so with the cursor at the beginning, I can take this and zoom in on my dolphin here. I can just reframe this. And again, this is what I'm doing is, this is the camera. So picture this as the camera lens itself. And I'm pointing it into what I want to show in frame here. All right. So I can make this as small as I want. And then there's my dolphin right there. And then if I bring my cursor out to here, see how it zoomed out to the whole frame? Um, and that's what we're really just gonna have it set to about right here. So what I can do is let's go ahead and pull this out there and then let's resize this so that it sits about right there. All right. Looking pretty good. All right. Perfect. All right. So now what we can do is we can delay this too. So maybe I don't want that to start right away. I can have it. There we go. Just like that. And then the shark comes in and bam. All right, looking really awesome. All right, so that is how you can create a really cool shark attention grabber inside of Cray Studio Pro. Hopefully you got some really cool quick tips out of here. Can't wait to see what y'all create, and I'll catch you on the next tutorial.